Hello and welcome back. Time has come for another update and in this short video I will demonstrate uh, some of the more important new features in EDAPTools version 6.6. No doubt the most exciting one of these new features is hard welding which is an addition to the existing welding method which we now retroactively call soft welding. If we uh, grab Kineflex there's nothing welded in this character at the moment so uh, with Kineflex if I rotate the lower part of the torso you can see that the upper part of the torso stays in soft rotation. Now I will select the upper part of the torso and press the element welder button. A dialog box pops up and it gives us the option to choose between soft and hard welding. I'll go for soft welding and the result will be such that if we rotate the lower part of the torso now, the upper part stays in hard rotation with it so it is welded to its parent but if I grab this extender I can still have some flexibility in the upper torso so it is independent the child is independent from the parent. Hard welding is bi-directional and will hard weld the back part of the skirt so I'll uh, choose hard welding for it and now with Kineflex, these two parts, the back part of the skirt and the front part of the skirt will become literally one element. So regardless of whether if I select the front element or the back element, they will behave as one. The child can control the parent in hard welding operations. On top of this, smart magnet rig panel now visualizes the welded nodes in darker color and you can also see whether they are bi-directional like in this case the back part of the skirt is hard welded so there are these two arrow indicators that show that this is a bi-directional welding link while the upper part of the torso is unidirectional this is soft welding so the parent controls the child but the child is independent the second feature that i would like to show you is that now ik effectors add constraints automatically upon attachment if we take this rabbit for example this will be very beneficial for designs where there is a, a natural curve and natural angle between the elements so as you can see these two elements are at an angle previously when you uh, created an ik effector it would have no joint constraint so the joint would have actually overstretched and broken the design while now upon creation or upon attachment the IK effector actually reads the angle between the elements and adds a constraint automatically. So now if I grab Kineflex and try to stretch this leg it won't stretch past the position at which the effector was added. If we check effector properties we can see 158.7 so this is very handy in all kinds of situations all you really need to keep in mind is that when you add effectors you have to just pose your character in a way so that uh, the limbs are stretched as much as you want and then attach the effector now i'll uh, demonstrate with another one this time i created a detached effector I will hold down shift and drop it over this arm. I'll have to flip it horizontally, of course. But now you can see I can't stretch it past the point of uh, the natural curve between these elements. Of course, if you would like to remove the constraint, you have to open effect the properties and just click on the X. Then you will be able to overstretch these or straighten them completely. Another cool feature is that now effectors with no snap property like this one don't snap on mouse up 
So since a version 6.5, normally effectors will just upon release snap to their control chains. But um, an effector like this one, which works as a gravity pin, we don't want it to actually snap. We would like elements to always aim at this effector, but we don't want it to snap when we release it. So we gave this effector a no snap property from here is this checkbox here and now as an addition to that the effectors with no snap property will not snap when we snap all the other effectors either with smart magnet joint like this it will stay where it is or of course when we hide the effectors and re-show them the effectors that are not supposed to snap to the elements will stay where you left them, which is obviously the logical behavior. And finally, in the last couple of months, we discovered that one of the animate layer parenting bugs is actually severe and critical. So we had to take steps to protect our users from actually losing their work. Obviously, we have reported it months and months ago to Adobe, but no one really knows whether and when they may fix it. So until this bug is addressed by Adobe, we had to disable by default the layer parenting integration into Smart Magnet Rig workflows. You can still use layer parenting to clean up your arcs as long as you are aware of uh, the dangers and how to use those features safely. You have to watch the dedicated video in which I show the nature of the bug and uh, methods of avoiding file destruction. I will in this uh, short presentation only show you what will happen if we try to use layer parenting toggle. We'll get a warning and you will be presented with a link where you can read more about the problem and also here you get the information how you can enable layer parenting integration. You do it from EDAPT control panel miscellaneous. So EDAPT control panel miscellaneous and there is a new option called layer parenting integration and it is disabled by default. When you set it to enabled you get another warning and another link to the same article where you should really you should go and watch the video when you say okay now layer parenting integration is enabled and i can toggle layer parenting for this character as long as you use layer parenting with caution and you're aware what you're doing and what the dangers are you will be safe and you can make good use of it so this is it for this update of EDAP Tools version 6.6. .6. We hope that you will enjoy using it and you will make great cartoons with EDAP Tools. Thanks for watching.